Matthew chapter 18, verses 18 and 19, Jesus said, Assuredly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. We permit on earth what has or what God permits in heaven. So that's us praying on earth as it is in heaven. Again, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth as touching anything that they ask, it shall be done by my Father who is in heaven. Now when he uses that phrase, again I say to you, he is basically repeating what he said prior to this in another form. Two are better than one because they have a good re reward for their labor. When we are in agreement, when we are able to harmonize. Like to faith in action in the New Testament. They've been let go, so they go back to their own companions and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said to them. So when they had heard that, they raised their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, you are God who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them. You can go back to your life group. You can go back to a few other believers. And he said, look, uh, here's the challenge I'm, I'm faced with. So they go back to their own company. And what do they do? They lift up their voice with one Accord. Now, Lord, look on their threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word by stretching out your hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done to the name of your holy servant Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke the word of God with boldness. Here's what we want you to do. Give us boldness. Acts 12 verse 5 it says, Peter was therefore kept in prison, but constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church. So think about this. Peter is in prison. What's the church doing? Praying. It says, when he had considered this, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. So Paul had come to the city of Lystra, and he was preaching there, and uh, people uh, from Antioch and Iconium and other cities nearby, they came over to Lystra to cause trouble. They gathered a mob who came and they stoned Paul. He rose up, went into the city, and the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derby. And when they preached the gospel to that city and made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, went on to Iconium, on to Antioch, strengthening the souls uh, of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, saying, we must through many tribulations enter the kingdom of God. Now, he went back to the city. The next day, he's back on the road. He's traveling to Derby, not for medical treatment. He's there to preach the gospel, win souls. This I say, lest anyone should deceive you with persuasive words. For though I'm absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. Wrong ideas, wrong preaching, wrong teaching coming in, infiltrating into the church. And that's why in verse 4, Paul says, you know, I, I'm saying this because I don't want anybody to deceive you. He says, for though I'm away from you in body, yet I am with you in spirit, delighted at the sight of your standing shoulder to shoulder in such orderly array, and the firmness and the solid front and steadfastness of your faith in Christ and our faith our collective faith our agreement and faith should keep on increasing we are bound to thank God always for you brethren as it is fitting because your faith grows exceedingly these people they can believe God for big things Mark 6 verse 7 it says when he called the 12 to himself and began to send them out two by two and gave them power over unclean spirits. So they went out and preached that people should repent. They cast out many demons and anointed with all many who were sick and healed them. So the disciples had to learn how to flow together as they ministered to people. 
After these things, the Lord appointed 70 others also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and every place where he himself was about to go. Then the 70 returned, verse 17, with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name.